how do you approach your husband when you are in their need? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Regina. I want to believe you are doing well. Please, if you are married or you are intending to get married or you are not even willing to get married, please participate in this because if it is not directly affecting you, your sister might be affected. Please help and participate in this so that we can learn from you, you learn from us, and let's see how to resolve this because it's really a problem. Some people don't know how to approach their spouses. Some do it when they are angry. Some do when they are happy. And some actually do demanding for something. Yes, like I did mention, some do it demanding for something in return if you don't give me i'm not gonna do this for you if you don't give me what i need uh, perhaps the intimacy will drop drastically how to what extent can we go when we need something from our spouses anyways this is specifically for the ladies please how do you approach your husband you see, we, we have different ways of doing things. We are unique in our own ways, all right? And our, husband, our husbands are also unique. What works for you might not be what works for me. We all have different ways of dealing with our king, all right? So let's see. Marriage is very beautiful. If we look at it the way God made it. All right. Now, for us to really appreciate the kind of person we live with, we will need to open our minds and attentions on Him, God Himself. So, when you invite God in your marriage, you will see things in different perspective. Approaching our husbands when we are in need becomes so easy now let me tell you something practical when i am in need of anything most of the time it is not my personal needs my husband can attest to this you know what i do i adopt a system i adopt this person's style in the scripture in need of something i adopt this character in the bible esther esther was in their need she needed her people to be saved to you you might not need your people to be saved you might need something personal to you something dear to your heart in the case of esther that was so dear to her heart and she needed a helper and so for her to go meet her husband Perhaps it would have been a different ball game, but she had to pray to God first. That is the system I have adopted, and it has been working for me since I got married. All right. I go on my knees. I talk to God first. That God go before and after me, melt my husband's heart in my favor, according to his will. In fact, when he says yes, I know for sure this is the time. If he says no, I know God has, is not approved. Pray to God first. Secondly, figure out the right timing. It cannot be he's hungry and you are asking for something. A hungry man, don't forget, is an angry man. Make sure you meet him. You know when he's happy. Give him his food. And figure out when he's happy. And, you know, that time of merriment, let him know. You know, that's you, that is when you tip in. And you, before you do that, you have to praise him. Yes, gratitude softens someone's heart. You cannot just go ahead and give me that. Let him know what he has done for you before. For instance, you want to talk to God, you have to remind him how he has helped you to come out of your, you know, Egypt. Let God know what he has done for you. And that motivates him to do more. All right. Focus on how you feel right let him state your why why do you need this thing sincerity can help you a lot you do you need it for your selfish interest 
Do you need it so that your husband will pocket to be crippled? Why do you need this thing? We need to be sincere because life is a test. Everything we do, there is some sin eye watching us. Why do you need this thing from your husband? State your why. And after that, don't forget. <laughs> don't forget to clarify. And when you do that, hit your request. Hit on your request. Let him know the main meat. And if you do follow all these steps, and your husband tells you, I'm sorry, I cannot, then you know that is not the right timing. That is the way I go about my